<laughs> Good morning, fellas. We are uh, in some place I've never been before, and I'm actually hunting real close to where I grew up, so that's that's pretty neat to me. But um, I'm out here with Benton, who I met at the conference, as well as Rob and Benton's dad. We're in a nice blind, as you guys can obviously not see, but nice tin roof, big walls. Looks really good. The only downside to today is that the wind is in our face. With having a set blind like this, it makes it very difficult to hunt different types of winds. Bad wind for today. We'll see if we can make it work. Hopefully we can. This pond's notorious for a lot of geese, so I'm really looking forward to that. But it's gonna be an adventure today. It's gonna be something different. I brought the, I brought the stove, we're gonna cook some breakfast. It's just gonna be a good time out here on a pond in a permanent blind, yucking it up. So I don't really know what to expect for today. I'm just kind of along for the ride. It is, it's kind of snowing a little bit, kind of precipitating, but I think it's supposed to quit here pretty soon. So I guess we'll just get settled in and hopefully be seeing some ducks and geese. They're wanting it. Yeah, they're coming back. Because yeah, kind of, they're all kind of wanting to cut this way, like they're, they're okay cutting into that west wind a little bit. Right. Yeah. Get rid of this mess. You want me Make to do it now? Make a hole where those honkers are. Yeah, I'm going to move all these yeah. out. That's a good idea. Okay. You guys want me to do it now? Or do you want to yeah. Sit yeah. Sit for a second? Might okay. as well do it now and then. What I hate is on this pond, this is the best duck time. <laughs> yeah. I hate you guys for messing it up. But yeah, but they're, they're not, not gonna working. Land. We're not going to land. It's not going to matter. Yeah, that was our, our shot. That was yeah, probably a 40 that, yard uh, scrape. Yeah. Right this this is the, always the best flurry, but we'll see that. We'll see more ducks. But this is just, the, this is our prime time for ducks. You all right? Yeah. Oh, he's wet. Over. Oh, he's wet. Ooh. Why were not I recording him then? <laughs> Well, Benton just fell in the water. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. For sure. That's not going to be fun. You get him down in your waders? <laughs> well, we're making a move because the ducks, the wind is kind of angling. I don't know. Okay, so the front of the blind is like 12 o'clock. The wind's kind of coming from like 10 to 11. So we're angling the decoys out here to where the ducks will kind of cross right in front of the blind. Uh, we've had a couple of groups come by, swing a look, but they didn't really have a place to go. So we're kind of trying to open it up for them. Like they're kind of getting yeah, closer. Yeah. Oh gosh, they come right over us. Yeah. You guys want to kill the geese? It's right there. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, dang, we should have taken that. Well, that 
Mallard's killable now. Right. Take him. I'll just go ahead and yeah, water swat him. There you go. Good dog. Good girl. Okay, number two. Go get the well, we knocked the skunk off. We got two mallards down. Meg's out there trying to catch this one, swimming off. Just got barely nicked. But those, those geese just... Whew. Wish we would have shot those. That would have been awesome. Yeah. We should have. Yeah. But by the time I saw them, it was too late. It's, all these birds are coming from behind the blind, and we just get split second to see them and know when to go. So just the start. Just the start. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Here they come. That's just one. tough shots. Yeah. Got one. Uh, Not too far to try to hit. No, that was, oh, that one out there, yeah. yeah. Uh, was it sad and pathetic? <laughs> yeah. That's a big old honker. Yeah. Is it banded? Not anymore. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> They're going to turn and give us a real good look. Can you see them? No, I can't. Oh, there they are. No, that's not them. There's another group. That five or six is new. There's some more that are going to show up here. These five are locked. There's like ten. There's like two groups of five. They're coming? That's slightly better. Well, we dropped four geese out of that group, so that's pretty sweet. So we're up to five geese and two ducks. I'm over here cooking up some breakfast burritos. Doesn't that look tasty? Nice sausage. We're gonna get eggs and some cheese on there. Mm -mm -mm. But it is definitely tough hunting with the wind in your face. But it's it's doable. It's working. Yeah. They're just we gotta cut them right when they're coming over the top of the blind. So it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but we're shooting birds. It's all we could ask for, right? Look at that white belly. I love honkers. These are little guys. Yeah, to yep. Honkers. Those are some. They're not lesters, but they're not very big. No, they're not the big ones. Good girl. Good girl. Drop it. Drop it. Yep. Yep. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. With this wind being in our face, it's really not the most ideal situation, but I think we're making it work. We've got five geese and two ducks. And we had a bunch of geese come like stop right on the edge of the blind here and turn back that way. So, I don't know, we're making some adjustments with the decoys right now. Hopefully it'll help. I mean, it's just tough getting them to come over the blind into this little tiny pocket. It's tough. <laughs> this is why you don't hunt with the wind in your face, but it's doable if you have to do it. But, I don't know, hopefully we'll get some more groups to show up and I'd like to get them at least 
somewhat in the decoys, but it's just tough. We gotta shoot them as they fly over, otherwise we won't get a shot. Well, that is it for today's hunt. Uh, we lost one goose somehow. It went belly up and floated off and then we went to go get it and it wasn't there, so that happens. But we ended the day with two mallards and four geese in the bag, minus that, or plus that one that got away. Oh yeah. Not bad. Oh, today was a textbook example of what not to do in duck hunting, and that is hunt with the wind in your face. It makes things very difficult. It's doable, but it's very, very difficult to get birds to come in to where you can actually shoot them, especially in a permanent blind where you can't see anything out the, from behind you. Before I get any farther into this wrap-up, I want to let you guys know that you can pick up this hat uh, by clicking the link in the description. You can also pick up this hat and this hat which are both brand new. We got the Woody's Bro hat and the Honkers Bro hat. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for these. So click the link in the description and check them out. Yeah, today we just kind of tried to make the best of it and do whatever we could to make it work. There was no way for us to hunt the other side of the pond and get with the wind at our back or have a better situation with the wind. Um, we were just pretty much stuck in that permanent blind and that made things kind of difficult. For any of you guys who have permanent blinds, you probably know the feeling of having a loaded pond and then having the wrong wind for that permanent blind. It just kind of sucks. But we went out there, we tried to make it happen, and we shot a few geese, we shot a couple of ducks. It wasn't a bust, so I mean, that's cool. The thing that I'm really scratching my head about is where that last goose went. The dog couldn't find it. We couldn't find it. It just straight up disappeared. It went belly up and floated off to the bank where we we're gonna walk around and pick it up later. Wasn't there. Overall, I mean, it was just kind of, a, it was a fun morning, cooking breakfast, being with the guys, like, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It may have not been the most killer video for you guys, but for me, it's nice to have an enjoyable hunt every now and then, because sometimes it just gets to the point where I'm just grinding out videos and going duck hunting, going duck hunting, going duck hunting, making content, and it, you know, sometimes it's nice to, not have a banger hunt and just be with some people that you enjoy being with. So, you know, I wonder if that shows in this video, but you know, we just kind of made the best of it and did what we could to make kill some birds. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I love seeing that number grow every single day. And I, I just appreciate everybody who has done it and you know, it's just so cool to see the growth and see see how many people enjoy watching the content that I produce. It's really neat. So if you guys hit the subscribe button, you will get notified when I post a new video. So go ahead and do that. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you on the next one. <music>